Hey Kirby, today I'd like to show you how you can take an Active Inspire flip chart that you've used in the past and save it so that you can use it in Google Slides. You'll notice that I have five pages to my flip chart and I want to go ahead and save all five images. I'm going to go ahead and go to File and I'm going to Export All Pages to and I'm going to use JPEG because it's easier to put the image into Google Slides than it is the PDF. So I'm going to go ahead and save it to my downloads because once I'm done with it, I am going to delete it. Done with Active Inspire, and I'm going to go ahead and open up Google. Once I'm in Google, I'm looking for the little waffle. If I'm signed in to the right, you'll see your name and the account that you're signed into, and the waffle is going to give you all of your G Suite apps. So you're looking for the yellow Google Slides. If you don't see it right away, keep scrolling down and you should find it eventually. You're looking for the blank. So it's like that colorful plus sign. You're going to go ahead and tap on the plus. The first thing I want to do when I open up uh, anything with Google is I want to name it because if you don't name it, everything's going to be untitled presentation and that will make for a mess when you're trying to find it later on. So this one was called Five Finger Rule. And when I hit return, you'll notice that it changes the name on the tab as well as on the actual project. I want to go ahead and add five slides because I know that this slideshow that I want to transfer over is five slides long. So I'm going next to that little plus sign, that drop down arrow, and I'm going to choose blank because I don't need anything. I just want it to be the background. I'm going to go ahead and create five of them. Shortcut is to tap on a slide that you want to duplicate and hold down Command D to duplicate it. I don't want this title in the background, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. And now I'm ready to bring in my images. I'm going to go ahead and go to Insert Images, and I'm going to Upload, and I'm looking for my slides. So I want to go to one hit insert and then I'm just going to use the guidelines that are red to help guide me to center it. You can stretch it so it fills up the entire screen if you'd like but some pictures will become distorted. Just to double check what it looks like when you are ready to present you're going to go up to that present button on the top right. Hit present and this will be what shows on your screen. I'll repeat the same steps for the rest of my slides. And that's how you might take an old Active Inspire and bring it into Google Slides. Thanks for listening, Kirby.